and peace may be multiplied unto you. This is Apostle Elliot. I wanted to give a word of revelation regarding the word agree. What does it mean to agree or be agreed? Um, when we look at our Western world culture in definition, uh, what I found is that it, to agree means to have the same opinion about something or to concur. Now, as we say that for our Western world culture, now the question becomes, what does agree or agreed mean according to the Bible? Well, here's something that's very interesting. One of the most famous verses that we usually quote when we talk about being agreed is Amos 3.3. 3. And the scripture says, can two walk together except they be agreed? Now, let me remind you the word walk means to proceed or go forth based on one being led. So as spiritual people, as believers, we're understanding that the concept of walking is not just physical, but it has a metaphorical or a spiritual meaning as to two people being able to proceed or go forth while being led by something or someone. So we're understanding that as believers as being the Holy Spirit or the Spirit of the Lord God. So in that, the question that the verse asks is, how can to walk or be led going forth except they be agreed? Now, here's what the word agree means in Hebrew. Uh, the word we find used there in this particular scripture, and this is pretty much the only one in the Old Testament, is yaad, Y-A-A-D. And the definition of this word means to fix upon or to meet by appointment or to gather by appointment or designation or instruction. Once again, to engage with anyone or other individuals, however, based upon appointment or being directed or instructed to engage. So listen to the difference in the meaning. Uh, Western world, we say it's based on people being uh, in like mind or having the same opinion or them concurring on something. However, in Hebrew, the word agree or agreed is an association with an appointment being designated to come together or, or one being directed or instructed to meet on an appointment or at a designated place or time with an individual. This is what agreement is about. So now we look at the verse, can two be led uh, and proceed together unless they first have been brought together or been instructed to come together by appointment or by assignment or by designation. This is what agreed means in Hebrew. Now, what else is very interesting is there's about four different words for agree in the Greek. All right. Now, the first one that I bring to your attention is the word symphonio, symphonio, S-U-M-P-H-O-N-E-O. -E this word means to make a bargain or to make a pact with someone with stipulations being tied to that pact. So now listen to the use of this word. Jesus said in Matthew 18, 19, he says, again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree or make a bargain or pact with each other that has stipulations on earth as touching and see many people uh, don't have clarity what the word touching means there. It's the Greek word peri, which means because of or concerning. So he says, if uh, two shall say that they agree or make a bargain based on stipulations and they also touch or concern anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my father, which is in heaven. All right. So first of all, he says, you've got to make a bargain or make an agreement or a pact with whatever stipulations or requirements or parameters regarding that bargain. 
And he says, then based on that, anything uh, concerning it that you ask, the father will make it come into fruition. So he's saying there has to be a commitment or bargain that has been uh, 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 you both have uh, concurred upon or said that you're willing to do that now will release the Lord God to bring whatever is asked concerning that bargain to come into fruition. Next word that I bring to your attention about agree in the Greek is esti umoyo, esti umoyo, E-S-T-I, and then the word E-U-M-O-E-O, esti umoyo. It's two words because esti means exist as or be thou, and umoyo means well or well-minded or to come to reconciliation in one's mind based upon understanding, feelings, judging, and determining or making a decision. So we find this word being used in Matthew chapter 5, verse 25. The scripture says, agree with the adversary quickly while thou art in the way with him. So what he says is be well-minded or come to a reconciliation of understanding in your feelings, in your judgment, and in the decisions that you make with one who is currently in opposition with you or your opponent. Because either you're standing in the way of their progress or they're standing in the way of yours. So esti umoyo is the Greek word that is used for agree or to agree here. Next word I bring to your attention in the New Testament is homiazo. Homiazo, H O M A, uh, excuse me, H O M O I A Z O, homiazo. And it, to, it means to be, uh, be alike or to resemble or be similar. All right. So when you look in Mark chapter 10, verse 70, the second part of the verse, it says, For thou art a Galilean. And thy speech agreeeth thereto, or your speech is is similar. Your speech resembles that of other Galileans. Your speech is uh, uh, um, very similar, or it gives the appearance of being like any other Galilean, which is why I'm calling you a Galilean. That's the reference of the term agree that's used there. Now, the fourth and final term, um, or correction, there's actually five. Fourth, fourth term that I bring to your attention is suntithamai. Suntithamai. And it means to put together with or to join together with or make an arrangement to engage. All right. And this is similar to the Hebrew word ya'ad uh, that we just covered in the Hebrew. Now, in that sun tadamai is actually two words sun which means with or to connect or to join all right then tadamai means to fix or establish so it's about joining two together in order to establish something we find this particular word or words used in John chapter 9 uh, verse 22. In the second half of that verse, it says, for the Jews had agreed already, or they had been joined together to come into establishing something already, that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. So this is the term agreed that's being used here. Now, the last one that I bring to your attention in the Greek is patho. P-E-I-T-H-O, patho. And patho means to persuade or to convince, all right? It's not in a, an agreement per se, or, or should I, I uh, state a concurrence or a gathering? It's just one being convinced to be persuaded in the way that they see things or the way that they understand things so that they're on the same accord with the one who is the persuader. 
Now, this particular word for agree is used in Acts chapter 5, verse 40. First part of that verse, it says, and to him they agreed, or to him they were convinced, to him they were persuaded by, okay? So with that being said, these are the different words and meanings in the Bible regarding agree as to what they imply according to the scriptures that are being used versus uh, just defaulting to what we claim the meaning of agree is in our Western world culture. So with that being said, I pray this has been a profound revelation for you of understanding, especially in these different contextual meanings of the word agree and what they're really referring to and implying as you continue on your divine destiny in the Lord through Christ Jesus and Christ Jesus alone. And with that being said, amen, amen, and amen, and blessings be unto you.